Sis, I got something to tell you. That yeast infection that you experienced in is not actually a yeast infection. It's actually the physical manifestation of an energetic or spiritual irritation that you have let linger for way too long. And I'm going to tell you how I know this to be true. The next time that you experience a yeast infection or BV or some other kind of chronic ailment, specifically that continues to come back over and over and over again, I want you to sit down and I want you to think about, like really go back in your memory and think about in the days and the weeks leading up to this yeast infection or this BV coming to the surface, what things were in your life that were consistently irritants to you? What people do you need to get rid of? What things do you need to stop doing? What um, practices are you possibly doing like throughout your daily routine that are causing your womb to send out energetic messages to you that says hey we're irritated hey we don't like that see what we don't realize a lot of times as women and what we aren't taught but we quickly learn if you pay attention throughout life is that your womb literally okay literally tells you when something is right and when something is wrong when something feels right and when something doesn't feel right but too commonly we're taught, especially with Western medicine, we're taught to ignore the warning signs and get rid of the symptoms. The yeast infection is just a symptom of the energetic and the spiritual slash physical irritation of something that's in your life that you need to get removed in order for you to be relieved, specifically for the queens who have chronic yeast infection. So the next time before you go and you reach for your monostat or you reach for your Paul Diarco for all my herbal girls out there to get rid of the yeast infection, I want you to actually sit down and think, who do I need to get rid of? What happened in the days leading to my yeast infection? What is my womb trying to tell me that I'm not paying attention to? And also a lot of times as a side note before I end this, the mate that you're being intimate with can sometimes be an irritation to our womb. And our womb tries to tell us like, hey, maybe you shouldn't be with him. Or we get that like nudge and that feeling down in our gut, but we might not pay attention to it. And so after we get that little gut hunch, then we might get like a little bit of a odor or a little bit of an itch. And it says, and it only comes around, like if you pay attention, it only comes around right before you're getting ready to be intimate with them or right when you're getting ready to interact with somebody or right when you're getting ready to do something that your womb is trying to tell you don't do. And then... Shortly after that, that little itch or that little odor or that little irritation then turns into a yeast infection. And because we don't get rid of it out of our lives or we don't, yeah, evacuate the people, the situations, even the foods. Because, I mean, obviously on the physical side, it's foods. But in this particular one, I'm talking about the energetic and spiritual side of yeast infections. There is something that you're keeping in your life that needs to get removed. And so the next time, like I said, before you go and you reach for your monastat or your Paul Diarco, I want you to sit down and extra womb. What do you want me to get rid of? What do you want me to pay attention to? Who am I not hearing you about? Like she's trying to tell you what the real world is and you're just ignoring her. Thank me later.